The Israeli forces have stepped up their attack across Gaza as the war in West Asia enters its 200th day. Right, Shivan. With the newest and more intensified attacks on Gaza, while well, fears continue to mount of an Israeli invasion in the overcrowded southern part of the besieged Gaza Strip. And all this amid calls for hostages to be freed. Now, according to reports, the Israeli army carried out intense shelling of Gaza City overnight, with the military saying it also struck Hamas positions in South Gaza. Loud explosions were heard in southwest Gaza and Khan Yunis, while strikes hit the Burej and Nusayrat refugee camps in central Gaza. Now, the report further adds that the Israeli military has ordered fresh evacuations in the north of the enclave. Warning civilians that they are in, and I'm quoting here, dangerous combat zone. The warning was asserted in a post by the Israeli army spokesperson urging civilians of four zones in Beit Lahaya on Gaza's northern edge to move to shelter in two designated areas. He says the military will work with extreme force against militant infrastructure and subversive elements in the region. Meanwhile, Lebanon's Iran-backed Hezbollah group has launched its deepest attack inside Israel since the Gaza war began last year. Now, the militant group says it launched dozens of rockets at northern Israel in response to the killing of two civilians in a strike blamed on Israel in Lebanon's south. In addition, Hezbollah's ally Hamas, in a televised speech marking the 200 days of war, said Israel has achieved none of its goals since it launched its war on Gaza. The militant group has also called for an escalation of war in all fronts. Hamas's spokesperson Abu Ubaidah from the Al-Qasim Brigades made a public declaration to escalate the war across the Gaza Strip. Now, on the other hand, back in Tel Aviv, public pressure continues to mount on Prime Minister Netanyahu's government to strike a truce deal to secure the release of the remaining hostages who are still held captive inside Gaza. Families and supporters of Israeli hostages held in Gaza protested in Tel Aviv, sitting on the ground with their hands bound and mouths sealed, conveying one message, and I quote here, 200 days and nothing has changed. Today is uh, the 200 day that we have uh, hostages kidnapped, people, babies, women, Old people, soldier, uh, was were kidnapped 200 days ago. Uh, my brother-in-law is back there in Gaza, and with uh, with 132 more people, it's too much. It needs to be end. We need to have our peace, and the families need to have peace. And this country needs to have peace. 